Welcome to I Love Stocks, and we're going to talk about Tesla. And I might throw another one in there that runs into my head right after we talk about Tesla a little bit. But everybody knows I love Tesla. It's my favorite ticker of all times, and it's always a play to be made on Tesla. So Tesla's hopping now because of, of, of the uh, shares spiked after the company reported quarterly deliveries. Gets an upgrade. Analysts upgrade, so there's two good things behind this right now. Um, Tesla delivered 184,800 vehicles in the first quarter. Tesla announced on Friday, and this is more than double of last year's of 84,000, so that's real good. And then next year they'll double again or maybe triple because we are getting into that EV boom. And I think this stock's really going to, Go ahead and eat all of our expectations plus more. In fact, I think for dinner, I think this thing can every bit of break 700. And we're going to talk about the chart and get into the 750 area. So let's go ahead and pull up Tesla. We'll use my moving averages here, my SMAs. Had nice almost a pull back to that double bottom support here, which I have at 685.79. So we're going to take a good look at this chart and see where, where we are on the moving averages. So we go to the one year daily and she's bouncing back up to hit that 50 again. That 50 is going to be right up in here, right around the resistance level of, let me see if I can spot it right here on this candle right in here, right there, right around 735. And then that next resistance is going to be right past here on this candle right in here so we'll get this one here real fast and it's going to be right there at 743 then you got that long one up here right around 762 so we'll bring this to the 20 day now if this thing pulls back to this support level that's real strong as we did right in here I always talk about that previous high that we've had that usually falls back to a support level so if you thought about chasing this trade when it was up here at the high and you got stuck in it, a little more patience and try to look for them previous highs. We had one right in here, but this was the previous one that we had before. So I think we can pull back to here again or maybe even get a little bit lower than that, maybe right around this 681. And then you got this 677 area. So I'm going to color that one line in because that's going to be important to us. And that's this one right here. We'll make this a red one too. So actually I got three red line supports. Two of them. I don't think it can go any lower than this 673. That's where I want it to hold. But your first support is going to be right here at 685. Let's pull this up on a daily 15 minute. So here's your support levels. We did. This was my first one here. At the 693.74, talked about it all day long. Then we pulled back to that previous high one that I was talking about at 685.79. Actually, it could be a little bit higher up here. So I'm going to color this in for a support level. This is on Tesla. Right in here. So that's your second... Your first support level is going to be right in here between 685.79 and 688.20. That second support down here at 681.56 with a strong buy channel right down here between 673 and 677. And I'm going to color that one in too. And we can pull back to this 200 too. I talk about the 200 a lot. So if you come in here on the daily one minute, let's see where it is on the daily one minute right now. So right now, we definitely broke down below it. So actually, I think we can pull back to this other support level here, maybe after hours, and then try to retrace back up with that double bottom at 685. So these are your three support levels. It's going to be between 685.79 and 688.20, with that first, second one down here at 681.56, and then that final third stage of supports at 673.44 to 677.21. Resistance that we need to break is going to be every bit of this 200 on the daily one minute, but we could probably rise up here and try to break this 700 to 
right around this 70465 area, right right there. I'm going to count it right there. 70425. Oh. Right there. That's where I'm going to put it. And right at 704. So your three resistance levels will be 693, 70112, and then if we can bust past that 704, we'll take it up here to 713 for a double top. And that's going to be Tesla. So I hope you enjoy this trade. It's good to keep it on your watch list and kind of learn the patterns of it, and you become real familiar with it, and you can make a good trade out of it. I've traded it, I can't tell you how many times. Although I didn't trade it today, I wish I'd have jumped. I wanted to jump in this. I told myself Thursday I regretted not jumping in on this pullback. I really did. I really regretted it because this is what happened today. A buddy of mine made about three hundred and sixty some dollars on a contract swinging one overnight. So that's Tesla. And go back to our website, hit that like button, and subscribe to our video channel, and I post video updates all the time. Plus, I have my two-hour session on Saturday or, or on Sunday now. Hit this little Twitter icon, and it'll take you to our Twitter page. And you can hit the follow button there. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis. And also, we do have our stock Twitch links, and you can link up to us there. Just hit that icon and hit that like button. Follow me, and I'm posting my alerts in here on a daily basis too. So enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tesla, and let's talk about Baidu. Let me throw Baidu in here. This is one that I did, uh, no, I did Boeing, but we're going to look at Baidu now. And I got in Baidu. I added $400 to my challenge count today. Here's Baidu. So I got in here, down here at the bottom, I added on to it. I think I've got a couple contracts of Baidu right now. Let me see here. I'm up 96 on Baidu. Plug, I'm swinging overnight. I'm down 21. And then Space. I was almost even on this, and then we pulled back again. So this is going to be a fun one to watch. You know, I wish I probably wouldn't took that trade either. But Baidu is the one that I want to chart up right now. And I think we can break this double top and bring it up here to the, right around the 225 area and maybe double top on the two day on the 24 hour period up here right around this 727 area. So that's going to be it. I think if it does pull back, it's going to be a strong buy. I didn't forget about all the money that went into it last week and all the longs that are in this trade. I think they want to run it up to at least 230 to 240. So I'm still bullish on the trade. Lower support around here, right around the 219.81. If that doesn't hold, we could probably get it right down in here at this level at 218.79. Then you got your 217.17. And then I called out this 216 double bottom today in the room when people were asking me about it. And she had a nice little run on up. Resistance levels. We got to come in here and break this 223.36. And then at 225.14, and then long 227.06. And that's Baidu. So everybody have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Always remember, I love stocks.